Okay. Uh, my name is Mike Tazi. I'm with Taz Medical. Uh, I get to keep everybody warm. I'm anxious to see who the winner is myself. Um, I want to say that it's great to be back. Uh, in 2019, here, there's a photo of uh, the Shark Tank competition that we had in 2019. And I want to call out that it was really a great uh, competition. Um, very well run, very well organized. So the organizers have a track record. It's getting in, even better with Vera Ventures. And so I'm looking forward to see how this uh, continues to grow over the years. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about Taz Medical today. We are a, a medical grade zip strap technology that we're, we plan to bring to the ventral hernia market. You'll get a chance to see it, but I want to also talk to you a little bit about our team. I'm going to talk about some of the unmet needs that we uh, were looking forward to solve, uh, many of which uh, are involved in some really uh, outstanding uh, economic information that I'll be sharing with you. And, you know, we live in a world right now where so many of the new innovations are robotic and, and high-tech visualization. Uh, I, I hope that you're going to be as excited as we are to see a simple medical device solution come back to the market that has massive opportunity to bring healthcare advantages to every stakeholder within healthcare. So I'll start with our team. Uh, we have an awesome team. Uh, collectively, we have over 25 innovations that have made it all the way, it's started just like where we are now at Taz Medical, that have made it all the way to either commercialization and or exit. Uh, you'll also see some, some familiar faces. Some of you may know our medical advisory board, uh, Dr. Veller and Dr. LeBlanc. They've been with us almost since the very beginning. You, you might also recognize our inventor, Dr. Albert Chin. Uh, Dr. Chin is a prolific medical device inventor. Uh, he and our chief operating officer who's in the room, Tom Kramer, if you want to raise your hand, Tom. Uh, Dr. Chin and Tom have innovated and brought to the market several products, uh, some of which are, are used every day in the operating room for hernia, hernia repair. So this is not our first stop in hernia repair. Uh, and, and after this presentation, Tom and I would, would welcome the opportunity to share, share more with you about that. Oh, I guess I should tell you a little bit about me. I, I've got 25 years experience uh, in the medical device arena, in the commercial space. I've had the opportunity to take companies just like Taz Medical, early stage, uh, to billion dollar valuations in a short period of time. So we're looking forward to take that go-to market strategy and, and utilize it for Taz Medical utilize it in ventral hernia. Uh, many of you are aware this is one of the most frequent procedures performed uh, by surgeons in the operating room today, and almost all of them are open. Uh, and so uh, most of these procedures are still not been converted to laparoscopic. Uh, from an investor standpoint, you could almost look for high volume procedure bases like this one, ventral hernia, and find these procedure bases that have not made the conversion to laparoscopic, and it's a great place to look for innovation. And so that's what we're doing. We're plugging innovation into this space, and, and our goal is to convert these procedures. In doing so, we'll reduce length of stay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll benefit really every stakeholder within, within healthcare and save healthcare a lot of money in the process. Uh, another, another big part of our value proposition is that there are attributes to our medical grade zip tie technology that we believe will provide an alternative to surgical mesh in ventral hernias. Uh, there's currently over 54,000 pending lawsuits in the United States for hernia mesh. Hernia mesh, not, I'm excluding pelvic floor reconstruction, which many of you have probably read about over the last five years. And so we're excited to tackle uh, really what we think is one of the biggest problems in general surgery today, certainly in ventral hernia, uh, which is to provide surgeons and patients with really the first alternative uh, to mesh in this, in this procedure base. So here's our, our kit. We didn't have this uh, when I presented in 2019. And I want to call out Tom Kramer, our chief operating officer. He runs our product development. Uh, he and his team put together really a, an awesome, simple five-step kit that's going to guide surgeons and their staff through a, a full thickness ventral hernia repair laparoscopically. The key component to our in, invention is our medical grade zip tie. And so I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, all, m most of the products that are used in ventral hernia today are, are permanent. They're, they're not absorbable products. And so ours is also, it's made of nylon. And uh, we also, we have some proprietary features to our strap. Uh, uh, most notably the distal end, which is our, our suture leader. Uh, it allows us to interact very conveniently with suture passers. And I'm gonna show you how all of this works here. 
Uh, in fact, I'll show you right now. Um, uh, I'll show you in an animation. This is about a 70 second animation. So it goes pretty quick. So I'll ask you if you're interested in seeing and understanding how this works, you'll wanna pay attention uh, to this. And I might need your help in the back to run this. I'm afraid that if I hit the next slide button, it's going to change slides. So if you could play this, that would be great. The trans-abdominal strap for laparoscopic ventral hernia repair is a proprietary solution that delivers full thickness closure during minimally invasive ventral hernia repair. A subcutaneous guide is inserted across the subcutaneous space. With the guide in place, a delivery needle is placed to allow the insertion of our proprietary zip strap designed for fast and durable hernia closure. On the contralateral side, a hook needle is inserted through the distal hole of the guide and down into the laparoscopic space. This needle captures the zip strap and pulls it out of the body. With the strap positioned correctly, the guide can be pulled across the subcutaneous space, completing a full thickness abdominal loop around the hernia defect. As both ends of the strap are now together, closure can be achieved with our proprietary tension measurement device. This novel tightening solution allows for complete tension measurement and closure of the ventral hernia defect. Everything always looks great in a cartoon animation, doesn't it? Um, so I'm happy to tell you that we have some really interesting preclinical data to share with you as well. Uh, we essentially followed every step that you saw in our animation in, in this animal. This is a, a, large, uh, a large swine animal who had a congenital uh, umbilical hernia, as you can see in the upper left photo. Followed every step. If you look in the bottom right photo, this is what it looks like when our tensioners are in place. Um, surgeons have shared with us that they're very excited about this innovation because it also allows for sequential tightening. You think about anything that you close, sequential would be the way you'd want to close it, and this innovation allows uh, for surgeons to do that. And I'm going to ask uh, if the, the friends in the back could play uh, this, next, this next image. This is what it looks like when our, when our zip strap is closed. And so I, this, this, I believe, was the very first one that we did. So you might hear some background noise of us celebrating. Ooh, and I'm not yeah. sure if you heard it, but that's also the, the most beautiful sound now in medical devices, the sound of that zip strap, saving surgeons time and bringing uh, benefits to patients. Uh, we, we've got a lot of confidence that the circumference of that strap is going to eliminate a lot of the cheese grating that you're seeing with your suture repairs. And now here's a photo of what's currently impossible. Uh, what's the big deal? It's, it's being able to see a full thickness abdominal wall closure performed laparoscopically. And I'm, I'm not just talking about the posterior fascia, I'm talking about the anterior fascia and everything in between coming together efficiently and coming together quickly. Uh, that was Dr. Veller who performed this procedure. And then we survived this animal for 30 days. And you can see we had a great cosmetic result. We also did a laparoscopic view of it and we were super excited to see the Reendothelialization of uh, of tissue around our strap. So, animal did great. There was no signs of discomfort or any pain or no change in eating habits. We've got some great economic benefits to our innovation. For every patient that we convert from open to laparoscopic, we'll save healthcare over five thousand dollars per procedure, and we'll also enjoy the great reimbursement advantage of laparoscopic ventral hernia compared to that of open ventral hernia. Uh, not to mention that these animals that we're doing are, are going very, very fast. We're not trying to go fast, but they're taking as, li as little as 25 minutes for us to complete these hernia procedures. So we believe that we're going to have the opportunities to substantially save time in the OR. Um, some of you might be aware that the OR's uh, light is expensive to keep on. It's $2,200 per hour. And so um, we believe that by... Uh, reducing procedure time, we're gonna save the, the hospital a lot of money and allow the opportunity for them to maybe even have additional procedures to treat more patients and make more revenue. All right, so this is my final slide. Uh, in 2019, it was really really an honor to be recognized as a top innovator. Um, since then, uh, we created our, our, our prototype. And so uh, you've seen images of this, but in the upper left-hand side, We've also been successful in raising a little over $5 million in a Series A round. Uh, we have a lot of interest uh, from investors. We have surgeons who've invested in our company as well. And then at the end of this month, we expect to have as many as nine issued patents around the world around our technology. So yes, this is a very simple idea, but it's very well protected with intellectual property. 
um, not just in the method that you saw, but in multiple methods. Our current focus is going to be uh, to continue our preclinical development and possibly even clinical development and to continue to work with the FDA towards FDA clearance. Um, so I think the judges are still deliberating. Uh, so I'll, I'll entertain any questions. Oh, sure. But, but here's, here's my question. Um, you talk about having the tensioner. I, it looks very cool. I just worry it'll hurt. Now, I know you didn't hurt your, your swine model, but we know that they're tougher than most people. Is, is this tensioner designed to regulate the tension? Um, have you thought about you know, what this, the types of, these types of consequences will be for your company? Yeah, th thank you. Um, so part of our intellectual property includes a tension measurement device, um, which in, in the preclinical experience that we've, we've had, we've had such success and control in the closure of our device, especially with the sequential tightening, that we're, we're holding off on bringing the, tight, the, the measurement device to market. Uh, but we have, we, we believe that we have an advantage over sutures and the advantage over not tying to have the tactile feel and the control of closing these straps, not, much, not, not only much faster, but with more control. And so thus far, we, we, we've had uh, great excitement around that. I think, I think it's yeah. v very exciting. And, you know, you've talked about raising money. Did you think that winning the Shark Tank in 2019, it wasn't, it was a little bit different than what we're doing now, but did, do you think that helped your company at all? Well, I'll tell you how it, it helped is, um, not just in the preparation of giving the pitch, but you know, whenever I can go to VCs and I can go to individual investors and I can tell them that we've gone through the rigor of the diligence of sages and the competition, um, it really does create a really fantastic story. It, it helped us a lot in, in that in that manner. I think that's yeah. uh, I think that's fantastic.